What's going on guys? Welcome back to another hunting boot camp. So we are in peak duck depression time. It is the duck doldrums. We are in Nebraska here about 90 days away from teal season. So we still got a ways to go, but there are some things we can be doing to help keep our minds on waterfowling and ensure success this future season. So number one is get out and scout. Uh, scouting is a huge part of waterfowl hunting. It's a huge part of every type of hunting pretty much. But uh, for waterfowl hunting, you know, you can go online, you can look uh, look at maybe there's some new areas that are public now, or maybe some areas you can get permission on. There's a lot of water in our area and across the Midwest, so who knows what that's going to do. It's going to change the river channels, creek channels, uh, might fill up some other ponds, might fill up wetlands. Who knows what it's going to look like, but keep going out there scouting. You know, it's going to change throughout the summer, so you want to keep going out there. There's never a bad time to scout. Field hunters, you can also be scouting too, you know, go out there, see what the farmer planted. Is it going to be corn? Is it going to be beans, rye, wheat, whatever? Go out there and scout those as well. And maybe you can find some places that you get permission on too. Which brings me to my second tip. Go get permission now. This is the prime time to get permission. You can, uh, you might beat out some other guys who also want permission too. You never know. But uh, this is the prime time to talk to landowners for getting permission on those fields or even those private ponds, lakes, whatever. And they might be willing to take you out and show you around, you know, if they're not too busy. So go out there, talk to those landowners now, hopefully you can get some permission, hunt some private ground and not have to deal with the public land chaos in most places. So the third tip is check and repair your gear. Right now is the perfect time to check your decoys and waders for leaks. Uh, touch up paint on your decoys or repaint your boat, your kayak, your blind, brush it up, whatever. Um, get out there, get that gear checked, make sure it works, make sure, because uh, you don't want leaks when it's freezing out. You don't want to find out half your decoys sink. Get out there, check them, make sure everything works, and you'll have one less thing to do or worry about on opening day. So the fourth tip is get new gear. Now is also a perfect time. Uh, because as it gets warmer people want to clean all the crap out of their house So they're having garage sales and you can find some really good deals It could be hunting stuff. You could find some decoys for cheap that you could paint up You could find some good decoys that are perfect and you just get a good deal on them You can find duck calls camo and maybe it doesn't even have to be specific waterfowl hunting stuff You could find maybe some nice thermal socks or wool gloves you never know what you're gonna find at garage sales but there's lots of cheap gear available now this time of year also as we move closer to waterfowl season typically in august some of the bigger uh, sporting goods stores are gonna have their waterfowl days and you can get some pretty good deals on gear there too as well as like shotgun shells and decoys and all that stuff so keep an eye out for those sales from those big box stores as well as your local garage sales because you can find some really good bargains so the fifth tip is practice with your gun this could mean a whole bunch of different things from patterning it if you got a new choke tube or maybe you get some new shells pattern those you know see what they look like at 30 yards 25 yards whatever your preferred landing zone distance is as well as go out, shoot some blue rocks, shoot some skeet, um, shoot pigeons. You know, that, that's another thing that's be kind of becoming more popular is pigeon hunting. So go out there and keep those shooting skills sharp so you don't have to worry about more misses on opening day. And the final tip to fighting off the duck depression is work with your dogs. So I can't speak too much to this personally, but, you know, practice with your dogs. Keep them, keep them from getting rusty. Maybe teach them some new things and get them, keep them sharp for opening day. But that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave me a thumbs up. Always helps me out. Drop a comment, let me know what your thoughts were. Guys, how do you fight off the duck depression? Let me know down below. Subscribe if you haven't already so and stay up to date with the latest hunting boot camps. These come out every Monday during the off season, as well as cooking videos, hunting and fishing exploits, and a whole bunch more. And we'll catch you out there, guys. See ya.